Uh, hey everyone, my name is Adam. I'm a UX platform engineer here at Posthog. I'm gonna show you how we use feature flags internally to implement new user experiences and new UIs. I'm gonna start with showing you this new feature that I'm rolling out and it's called the new scene layout. It's uh, simplifying the page across all products and scenes and implementing a name and description field in a generalized place. So removing all unique naming and descriptions across all products and unifying it into one place. Let's show you. So we'll enable the flag. Here we go. New scene layout is now active. You can see in product analytics, this is uh, working. This was implemented a couple days ago and is already on prod. You just can't see it because it's behind an internal feature flag. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna implement this, this header in surveys. So I have a survey here and I'm going to hide these fields if the flag is on. And if the flag is on, I'm gonna add the header here. If the flag is off, you're not gonna see any changes from what you're seeing right now. Let's dive in. So we have the survey here. This is the wraps the whole page here. So you could see um, this line here, the divider, and then the whole edit fields, and then another divider down there and so forth. Let's add our header somewhere up here. So maybe above that line. Cursor is going to do a lot of this work for me. Uh, scene title section. Great. Looks like it knows what it's doing. Before I even save, I know we're going to need some, make it a field. So we're going to need edit and we're going to need blur. And it knows to comment it out because I'm not ready yet. Let's save and see if it's the right thing. Great. It's pulled in the name of the, the survey open feedback and the description is empty exactly like down here. Great. Let's move on. We're going to hide these fields if the flag is on. So this is saved. Let's dive into survey edit and let's find the name and description field. Here we go. Name and description. Fantastic. We are going to wrap this in a if statement. If the flag is off, hide them. So let's do the if statement. Okay, cursor knows what's going on. It's kind of not right. That's, um, we should put it all in here. Get rid of this. Let's format this. Okay, this is not defined yet, but let's do that now. So we're gonna import our use feature flags hook. And we'll probably import it right here. Whoops. Const new scene layout, use feature flag, new scene layout. This is gonna need to be imported in a second. Great import. So if the scene, if this feature flag is on, this will be true. So if the feature flag is off, show these fields, hide it. If it's on, let's save and see if these two things disappear. Fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted to do. This was a very quick example, but I do this in many, many different ways across the app all the time. And I find using the feature flags internally is such a joy. We hope that you do too. See ya.